guys, welcome back to the kitchen. We have got a DSR Farms video today. We picked up some chorizo and we're gonna make some gravy. And I'm gonna whip up some biscuits real quick too. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Guys, I'm serious about biscuits. So if you come into my house and you bring canned biscuits, I'm gonna ask you to leave. This is super easy. There are three ingredients to this. And the ratio is gonna be three cups of self-rising flour, one stick of butter, and one cup of milk. Now I'm doing two thirds of this recipe, so just two thirds of everything I just said. But anyway, my little hack here is I melt the butter before I get started, which most people use frozen butter. But anyway, stay with me. I melt it and then let it cool back down, and then I pour my milk on top of it, and that cools the butter back off, and it just mixes in so much easier this way. And uh, yeah, so that's really all there is to mixing the biscuits, three ingredients, mix it up, combine it into a dough, and then just start rolling. All right, once everything comes together in a nice, neat, not sticky ball, I just flour the surface, and then I roll it out super thin, like a quarter inch, maybe thinner than that. And what I'm gonna do is fold the bottom up a third, the top down a third, and then fold that in half, roll it out again, repeat that whole process. And then I'll get my final roll out. And you want your final roll to be uh, probably a half inch thick. I went a little bit thin here, but you're gonna get about three to four times the rise in the oven of what you cut your biscuits out to. So just keep that in mind. Okay, once you get everything rolled out to the thickness you want it, I just like to take a little shortening and rub it on a cookie sheet and then just take a two inch uh, biscuit cutter grease it and start cutting out my biscuits. Try and cut out as many as you can from the sheet that you've rolled so you don't have any waste and you don't have to really rework your dough at this point. Okay, and the last trick that I've got here, uh, most people will brush melted butter on top of these biscuits and that's perfectly fine, but I've found that you can use a beaten egg and it works so much better. That's a little pastry tip that I picked up. Moving on to this chorizo, it's got a natural casing on it. I'm just gonna slice this off and then what I wind up doing is just kind of cutting this up into like cubes after I've got this sliced off. And here we're just browning up this sausage, uh, just like any other breakfast sausage or anything like that. And what we're wanting to do is get as much of this grease cooked out as we can, because what we're gonna do is add flour to this, and you want equal parts of grease and flour to make your roux. And once you get all the flour kind of cooked out of that, you start adding your milk just slowly, kind of let that incorporate just slowly as it goes. And uh, yeah, so basically your end product, you want it just a little bit thinner than how you want your gravy to be because as it comes up to a bowl and then cools back off, it's gonna get thicker. So just, if you think you've got too much milk in there, you've probably got just enough. All right, yeah, now what you're left with is just a pile of these mm, delicious biscuits and uh, all those folds and stuff you put in there, that's just layers, isn't that the payoff of that, all those folds, and uh, this delicious chorizo gravy. And uh, if you like chorizo or you like gravy, um, I'm just asking for you to try this. It's really good. Hope you all enjoyed.